Now you can also layer uh, different materials. So if we go through here, let's just delete this one out. So we could say we make a fill layer here and we'll make this a blue kind of painted surface. And again, it doesn't have to be super great. Uh, and roughness here, if you go over here to your procedurals here, and let's just look up grunge. Grunge dirt scratchy, we can just drop that right onto our roughness. You're going to see it kind of gives us a nice breakup on here. And if you remember, uh, if you only want this painted, uh, kind of looks like a plastic, let's go ahead and drop that. So we have roughness here. We can change the balance of the roughness to kind of make some of the crevices a little bit less, a little bit more. You can also change the contrast. You can invert it. And you can also go over here and you can scale that roughness uh, down. Now, if you want to just control this roughness on this layer and have a, you know, you want to tile the base color differently if you want to actually tile a base color, um, you can make a fill layer. You'd say uh, you can make a new fill layer here. And this fill layer, you could say, you know what, I want this fill layer to control uh, everything. Just give it like a nice base fill layer so everything's kind of dialed in like so. And we'll go ahead and just make this white. And then on top of this fill layer, it's kind of like a catch-all fill layer. In fact, we can just delete that layer. So let's call this our base. That'll just catch everything. And then on top of here, we can say, you know what? I want this to be my color. And I'm going to go over here and turn off all the channels except for color. Go in here and make this maybe blue. And then on top of here, I'm going to say roughness. I'm going to turn off everything but roughness. And again, I can just drag a grunge dirt on here. And then now I have complete access to the amount of scale. If I want to see the just the roughness a little bit better on my object, I can hit C and that'll go through my channels. There's my base color, there's my metallic. Here's my roughness. Uh, if you want to do your roughness across triplanar, you can switch that to triplanar as well. Play around with the scale. And again, this is just kind of breaking up your roughness. Hit M to go back and you can kind of see what's going on. And now you have just a roughness fill layer. Uh, the other cool thing is you have access to these channels right here. So if I want to dial this roughness down, I can select the roughness, take this 100 and just drop down that opacity. And that'll just kind of go back to that base uh, roughness value that I have dialed in here, which is kind of shiny. So we can kind of d blend those between each other. If I make this base kind of rough and then I go up to this roughness here, I can kind of make it you know, it's it's grungier and it's also kind of shinier. So I can just dial those two and play those twos off each other to kind of get that break up. Like I was saying again, uh, if you wanted these to just be applied to one thing, um, one thing I like to do is I'm going to hold down shift and grab all these and hit control G. That'll make a group out of these. You can also just make a folder and drag stuff into a folder. Uh, this one I'm just going to call painted. And in this folder here, I can right click. I'm going to say add a black mask. And then I'm going to right click and say add a massive color selection, go ahead and pick a color. I'm going to put it right there on that faceplate. So now it's only assigned uh, to that faceplate. It actually also got assigned to this. This is where I can go in here and I can add a paint and I'm going to paint with black. So if I change that to black, uh, now I can go through here and I can paint that out. And even easier, I can go over here to this little selector right here, polygon fill, and I can say, you know what, fill this entire object. There's the object selector with black. Now you can also fill UV shells, objects, faces, or triangles. Usually object is what I end up using. So there we go. Now we have a uh, painted, we'll call this painted face. And uh, since we have this all in one uh, layer, I can go ahead and just turn that off and then it goes to nothing. We can actually make a base layer down here. Uh, we can just fill this with a, we can do a search for like metal, say steel rough. And now we have this uh, painted face on top of here. Now another thing we can do is uh, we can have this scratch down. We can scratch off of this uh, painted face to either the base metal or to an underlying metal on here. Let's say this was just like a metal face plate and the rest of this was just, let's do a fill layer here. I mean, I, it could do either way. Let's go ahead and undo that. I'll show you both ways. So here's our steel base that we're going to scratch down to. So if I'm going to scratch down from this painted face to the steel base at the bottom, I would go right click in here and go add a generator. And this generator on the top, with that selected, I'm going to go and select a metal edgeware. And if I hold down Alt and tap, you're going to see um, this is the mask that it's going on. If I open this up, well, if I turn off this eyeball, you're going to see, okay, with this color selection, all I'm, this is only going to be uh, assigned to these objects right here, and it's going to be white. As soon as I turn on Metal Edgeware, all of a sudden this Edgeware is going all over my uh, object here. So instead, I'm going to change this Blend Mode to Multiply. So that way I'm just scratching 
on my painted face down to the base steel, and it's ignoring the rest of this because it's just all black. So now I'll hit M, and we'll go back into brush mode, get rid of our wireframe there. And there we go. So if I want to change the scratching, I can go over here to this middle edge where I can dial in the amount of wear level. And actually, I need to invert it. So I'm going to go over here to invert. And there we go. Now we're scratching from that painted metal uh, down to that base steel. If I want to change that base steel, I can click that, click that steel base. I can change that color. Let's go ahead and drop that steel color down just a bit. There we go. 